Welcome. Those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Sia Gajic. Lovely to meet you. I'm an actress and a writer and a filmmaker. If you're not familiar with my work, I made a film called Run and a film called The Importance of Skin, both of which have been on short of the week. I'm a Sundance Ignite Fellow, Sundance being Sundance Film Festival. Run was in BFI Future Film Festival and I won the New Talent Award. There's some credits for ya. The question I get asked a lot is, how did I start? How did I get into it? How did I? So the theme of this week is how to get started. Number one, find your taste. Find your taste before you do anything else. You have to figure out what you like. You need to really, really understand for yourself, not for anyone else. Don't worry about target audience, blah, 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 blah. Forget all that. You, for you, you. What is your taste? What do you want to say? How do you want to say it? Who inspires you? Why? Tarantino, Ken Loach, who is it? Very different ends of the spectrum. Find your taste. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna be able to achieve your taste straight away. You guys see my taste now. You kind of understand what I'm trying to do. That doesn't mean I could always do it. Don't be fooled. Don't think that the people that inspire you now we just woke up one day and I said, yeah, cool, let's make run. My first ever attempt. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Mm -mm. Definitely was making things on iPhones. Once you find your taste, you have to then experiment with it. Ooh, how do I get there? You're not going to be great straight away. Be shit. That's what you're meant to do. You're meant to be shit. You know, you look at school pictures with the slick down hair, the purple laces in your kickers, writing on your just do it bag. That's what you're meant to do. You're meant to go through that, guys. Be shit. It's fine. Just put it out. It doesn't matter if no one sees it, but you're working. There's no point in you spending thousands of pounds trying to, raise, trying to rent equipment. You're not going to make that money back. It's a short film. You're not going to make it back. So you might as well do as least expenses as possible and experiment with your taste. Learn everything. I didn't go to film school. I didn't go to uni. I have A-levels, guys. That's it. That's fine. We do it anyway. Learn everything, especially when you're starting out because nobody trusts you yet. Study, study, study. That could be watching films. Trust me, you can learn how to edit by watching films. I edited run. Nobody taught me how to edit. Nobody. If you really, really believe in this and this is really your passion, honestly, you would have watched enough films to understand where to cut. You heard it here first. Or third. Whatever. I have some book recommendations for you guys. Starting with acting because that is my love. Can you see? Is it in focus? It's probably back to front because this is webcam. My Bible my love i take it everywhere that's a lie everyone is an easy read honestly it's not to work it's well it's a book so it's wordy but wonderful book always go back to it always reteach yourself always learn high recommendation i've got loads and loads of acting books this is the one into the woods by john york Right, I have a problem with writing books. I don't think there is really a process, you know? Everyone talks about what's your process, blah, blah, blah. I personally don't think there is a process. There's no formula, it isn't maths. What I don't like about writing books is because it can cause further writing block. We as human beings are natural storytellers. Anyway, which is what I like about this book because he explains it. It's on the front of the book, i I'll just say that. How stories work and why we tell them. That's why I find it more interesting because it's the why. Richard Ide. He's um, an actor and a filmmaker, writer, director. Self interview. So, this whole book is him interviewing himself. It's not rules, it's not, do you know what I mean? It's just him, it's just basically what I'm doing now in a written form, just chatting shit essentially about what he loves and what he's learned and what's worked for him and what hasn't. He's just being him for directing acting and writing 
Gather a team, people that are better than you at something, passionate as you, people that are motivated, consistent, trustworthy, efficient. That's the team, that's the squad. You gotta find yours, who you're drawn to. Follow that energy, honestly. Don't go up to people and be like, oh, hi, I'm a filmmaker. I wanna make film. Have a conversation about something else. It's about getting on with people. This is why I'm still with the same people because they're actually my friends as well. Honestly, real friends. That's your tribe, man. That's your people. They're the people that's gonna raise you up when you're down. Do you know what I mean? So don't just network for the sake of it because you see someone who you think's got clout on Twitter or whatever. Feel the energy. I'm not even being, trying to be pretentious and over spiritual here. I'm being honest. People literally have energy. You guys know this by now. You're big people. You should know. Follow that instinct. Follow that instinct. You'll have better conversations and more meaningful relationships rather than just going up to someone and handing them your card. Your card's gonna end up in a bin. What I do to people that give me to give me their cards on the back of my business cards. I don't even look at it again. I'm being real. Anyway, find your people. Be brave. Quote from this book. If you are presenting the scene for applause, you are working incorrectly you are working incorrectly because you have to be brave in order to understand that quote i'm not just saying words i'm telling you these things for a reason to hear that quote to understand it and hear it you have to be brave be brave you're making it for whatever reasons you're making it i hope you're not making it because you're, you're caught up on Twitter and you think this is a popularity contest. Stories and art, a lot of the time, most of the time, come from pain. So I hope you're making things for real reasons. We don't need no more fakeness. Making this for the right reasons is going to come from a sensitive place and you're going to feel ways when people tell you certain things. If you think you've made the perfect piece of work, in your opinion, someone else ain't going to like it. And it's going to hurt. If you're making it for real reasons, because it's come from a certain place, be brave. You've got to tell that, tell that story anyway. We have universal experiences that have to be expressed. So yeah, guys, any more questions, do let me know. And I'll be happy to do more. And thank you. Please keep emailing me. If you've emailed me, you know I do reply. Email me via my website, www.theagayich.com. I didn't scare you off. Well. Be brave, find your taste, find your team, learn everything.